Hello there, welcome to learning activity 11, which has to do with using functions on the spreadsheet. Now, if you remember in our lessons in class, we talked about functions such as sum, we talked about the max function, the min function, okay, and um, the count ifs. We talked about a whole lot of functions, okay, in lesson. You're going to have the opportunity to use these functions in this particular section of your coursework. The first thing I want to draw your attention to are the pass criteria here for a merit grade. It says you need to use a function to calculate the total normal pay and the overtime pay of all the teachers put together. You need to change the employment tax rate from 20% to 25%. Okay, you need to use the average function to find out the average pay of all the teachers on the trip. And you also need to insert a new column and use an if function to find the details of all teachers who have worked for more than 35 hours on the trip. So let's start. Let me go and open the spreadsheet and calculate the total normal pay. Okay? So let me just check again. Was it? What did it say? Calculate the total normal pay of all the teachers put together. So this, <coughs> this here is what you have to calculate first, the total normal pay. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'll enter here total normal pay. You don't have to enter it in the same place I've entered. You can put it wherever you want to put it. Okay. So I've got total normal pay. I'm going to use a sum function to calculate this and add it all together. So I'll go equals sum brackets open. Let's click and drag all of these and close brackets and enter. And that is the total normal pay you should be getting, £6,266.50. Now let's do the total overtime pay again. Let me just write it here, total overtime pay. Once again, if it overlaps, let's go and simply stretch it out a bit. Let's go total overtime pay equals sum, brackets open, click, drag down for overtime pay, let's close the brackets, enter, and that is the total overtime pay. That's the total normal pay, total overtime pay. I'm simply going to make it bold, and I'm going to underline it, okay, just to make it stand out a bit. Again, bold and underlined our wrap text so that I can close this up a bit. Okay, so let's go up text. We have a total normal overtime pay there. Okay, and we have, let me just stretch these boxes out a bit. Total overtime pay as well, and total normal pay. So wrap text again. Just want to keep the spreadsheet small and compact. Let me put in some filling here. Let's fill in there and there. Fill it in with a color. Let's make it blue. And there as well. Let's make it blue. Okay. So we have our total normal pay and our total overtime pay. Now, if we go back to the sheet, it says the employment tax rate has just changed from 20% to 25%. Change the employment tax rate. Simply go. Okay. Here it says I3 multiplied by 20%. Let's click in J3 here. Let's change it from 20% to 25%. Remember, guys, you must take screenshots as you're going. Okay? So there we have it. We've changed it. Let's just click on the fill handle, drop down, and we can see that the whole tax rate has changed. In fact, it has increased. Okay? £266.50. So what we've done is we've calculated the total normal pay. We've calculated the total overtime pay. We've also changed the tax from 20 to 25%. And also, the next thing we need to do, it says, use the average function to find out the average pay of all the teachers on the trip. Let's go to our spreadsheet again. Once again, you can do this on the bottom in this corner. I don't really mind. Let's enter the average pay. It doesn't matter where you put it, so long as your spreadsheet is properly laid out. So the average pay will be, let's see. Um, what was the rule? Is the 
average pay of all the teachers. So we're going to work out the average pay of all the teachers. So let's work out the average of this, okay? The average normal pay here. So let's go to average pay, and it will be equals, okay? A, V, G, we're using a function, the average function. Brackets open. Let's select the whole of the normal pay. Okay. E3, E10, S, and this is the average pay right here. Okay. So we have our average pay. Once again, let's make it bold and underlined. And let's fill it in with a color. So we have average pay there. We have our total overtime pay, total normal pay, and we have our average pay here. Uh, mine is quite laid out, not so efficiently. You know, I've got everything everywhere. But with yours, I expect you to make it look a lot more better than mine. Okay? And then the final one we need to do is we need to insert a column next to hours worked and use an if function to find the details of all the teachers who have worked more than 35 hours, normal hours. So, so next to hours worked, let's insert. Okay, right here. And we can give it a title and let's call it teachers working overtime. And it says here, these are the rules, okay? Teachers working overtime. Let's look at the rule again. It says, insert a new column next to hours work and use an if function to find the details of all teachers who have worked more than 35 hours on the strip and display the message time off in lieu. Time off in lieu right there. So let's go to our spreadsheet and we're going to insert a new function. It's one of the functions we discussed in lesson. So let's go to equals if, okay? So if, wait one second. Right, now as you can see here, okay? We have written, I have just written in a formula to work out which teachers have worked more than 35 hours and need time off. Now to work, write this formula, this is what you need. And let's break down this formula here. It says equal if equals if, okay, so that's how you start it. D3, which is this cell here, is greater than 35, then a teacher has time off in lieu. Okay, and I've put that in inverted commas. It must be very precise. It must be exactly as you see it. And then comma, that means what will happen if that criteria is not met. And I've put a blank box there, meaning nothing should be entered. Okay, so here you can see it says if D3 is greater than, is less than, is, sorry, is greater than 35, then say time off in lieu. If it's less than 35, then don't say anything at all, okay? So that's why you can see here that A. Brown has worked for 40 hours, so they have time off. E. Francis, 40 hours as well, so they have time off, and so on and so forth. This is the if function that you're going to write in this section to find that out. Now go and do it.